up with a party. Yo, please. Uh, retro tart up in this B coming at you today. Talking about a comic book universe that I'm trying to develop. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. I doubt anyone will give me feedback, but hey, at least I'll let you know. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's never going to be published or anything, but, um, you know, sometimes it's fun to work on. So what do we have? Okay, uh, I'm envisioning a science fiction dystopian future where... Mankind has pretty much destroyed the planet Earth, or Terra as it's usually known. Um, and they're pushing out uh, as far as they can. They're going basically all the way to the edges of our solar system. And the thing about the universe that I'm developing is most of the technology it has been forgotten. So <clears throat> basically they're using retro technology, old garbage shit. There's... They're all poor. It, they're, it's basically like they're frontiersmen. Um, you know, uh, kind of like a la the Wild West or something where they're pushing out to the fringes of the known universe. Um, they're, they're using their wit and uh, basic survival techniques. Um, and so what it is, is it's going to be a anthology type uh, serialized book, I think. Uh, and so each story arc is a standalone totally separate um a narrative that all takes place in the same universe so there are certain things that are shared but mostly it's going to be a totally different story every single time um emphasis on ultra violence mature themes uh i don't know i'll go through some of the ones that i have um that i'm working on right now that i have ideas for um and we can and you guys can just not shake your head and be like, wow, this dude is lame. But okay, so this one, this first one is, uh, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Um, it's a story about a uh, warrior monk, basically, um, who goes around to the indigenous native people of the terraform moon that he's on, probably somewhere in the Kuiper Belt, I'm, I'm thinking. On the, on the fringes, uh, and he basically converts them to his uh, way of thinking, and if they disagree with him, he brutally murders them all. It's not so much an allegory of like religion as much as it is of just ego and how, you know, we think we're right, we're closed-minded, and we're willing to accept, uh, you know, there's xenophobia there, stuff like that, but here he is brutally murdering one of the natives because they... We're too proud to bend a knee to him. He's got like a little plasma, uh, kind of like a lightsaber, but it comes out of his hand. You can kind of see it better in here. He's got like a little activator pad on his palm. Shoots it out. He's got like a straw hat, but it's it's a holographic looking deal. Um, this is like my first just character study, so it looks kind of like garbage. I think I'm going to replace the wheat stalk with a pipe. I think that'll look a little bit cooler. Um, so yeah, there's one idea. Then this is the story that I pretty much have written all of the story, but God, the art. I'm working on the um, storyboards and stuff like that right now, but you got Cannibal Chicks of Charon. Cannibal Chicks of Charon. Uh, it's a moon of Pluto. They're actually on Nyx, which is a small moon. Uh, the terraforming on that moon got fucked up and so the dude who's leading the terraforming is stuck there so what he does um it's pretty fucked up and i got the idea from game of thrones more or less but he um has sex with his daughters kind of like uh a uh, lot or is that the dude i don't know but so he they eat they use uh they eat the the males um and he has a bunch of sexy daughters that he has sex with. There he is. I you can't really see him, but he's playing a banjo in a rocking chair in the cabin. And so this dude, he's like the man with no name archetype, gunslinger type, uh, spaceman. He crashes on the planet trying to navigate through the outer, uh, you know, Kuiper belt. He fucks up. I think he's trying to go to Pluto because there is a base on Pluto. 
or Charon or something like that. He thinks he's on Charon. And so anyway, yeah, I could I could tell you the whole story, but we're not going to do that. But basically, they're cannibal chicks. And uh, at first, he's like, wow, this is awesome. And then he realizes they're going to eat him. And he has to figure out a way to uh, get escape. Uh, <laughs> spoiler alert, it does not end well for anyone. Uh, then we have an undersea. Um, I just kind of just did this real quick. Uh, it's kind of like, um, it's going to be basically they're It's they're on the moon, uh, Europa, which is, I believe one of Saturn's moons. It's a water planet. And, um, so they're all in an underwater city and, uh, some shit gets fucked up and basically it's going to kind of be like isolation, um, cabin fever type that, you know, Uh, suspense thriller you don't know who is the bad guy or what's going on and stuff like that this one i it's just a basic idea i don't have the story developed and then another one i'm thinking of is uh pirates (laughs) they're gonna be uh basically um air sky pirates um on like jupiter saturn neptune uh, a gas giant um it's gonna be like you know bespin where they're sitting in the clouds and they go around, uh, they're miscreants. It's kind of going to be like a biker gang. You know, they got their little speeder bike things, kind of like Akira, uh, meets, uh, skies of Arcadia, you know, um, they just go around, cause havoc, probably not going to end well for them either. Uh, and then I have a couple other little things I'm messing with, you know, uh, but That's, those are the main ones that I'm developing right now. And, uh, (laughs) it's a long, slow process, but every once in a while, I'll kind of knock a couple out. Um, but I mean, if you guys don't think it's stupid, let me know. And I'll just throw all this shit in the trash. If you guys think it's cool, um, comment below and tell me that I'm the coolest guy ever because I need you to hype me up. (laughs) Oh, God. If anyone watches this, thank you so much. And um, maybe one day you'll see some Outlaw Comics published by me. Cool.